Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome to Majestic Notion. It's a random day for you guys, for me to be on here, but I just wanted to pop in because, you know, I'm busy, but I wanted to pop in and give you guys something and see what the energy is like. So I just wanted to pop in real quick. So welcome aboard. Thank you for being here. Please hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel, guys, if you haven't, and hit that notification bell for those who want to know when my readings come out. So this is a collective reading. We're going to get some messages, basically. So I'm probably not going to get into tarot, but we'll see. All right, so let's see what the energy is like today. There's so much that I need to talk about. Uh, I'm not going to do it in this reading because there's several. I'm probably going to do several um, collective readings on the energy. Um, I'm just like trying to catch up on other things. So uh, a lot of energy out there. Okay. Let's see what's going on. I did split it on blessed and divorce here. So let's see. What is the energy here? All right. Sometimes I don't even know what day of the week it is. I think it's Wednesday, right? Yeah. Let's do one more here. Yeah, I feel like this is a surprise. Whatever is uh, coming out here. I'm hearing the Dead Sea. Tumbleweeds. <laughs> okay. What is it? I can't even whistle right now. All right. Forget about that. All right, Spirit, let's break this right. Let's do this. All right. Okay, so we're starting off right away with Return to Sender. Address unknown. So... You guys could be doing um, some, you know, return to sender rituals at this time for some of you. Maybe you had to return some things. Maybe this is something you already did during the Capricorn full moon. Clearly somebody you know here was sending you some kind of evil eye. So something is being returned here. We have looking for competition. Mm. And we have thinking of you. Let's see what else here. Bad business move. Okay, somebody could be trying to do spell work over your finances or whatever you're doing here. I'm watching you. So somebody could be looking for you and watching you. Let's see here. Highly intuitive with competition. So if there's competition within a connection here, you're highly intuitive and you already know. Okay? And betrayal with somebody here thinking of you. All right, let's get into this energy. Let's see what's going on. Let's see. I'm going to use this retro oracle here. Let's see what's happening here. Somebody that betrayed you could be watching you. One more shuffle. Yeah, let's uh, shuffle these. Let's just return to sender and bad business mode. Butt napkins, my lord, don't hurry. 
<laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay, I just got this deck, so... <laughs> Your butt napkins? So, somebody could be in the shit, basically, because they tried to go up against you. <laughs> Now they need the toilet paper. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay, it's 420 somewhere, February. <laughs> okay, so somebody's high, getting high, watching you. Alright. That's what I'm seeing here. Oh boy. It has. It says February, so they could be watching you since February. Um, it doesn't have to be. It could be an Aquarius energy or Pisces energy here. What else here, Spirit? Whoa, whoa. Man, that, that one just wanted to jump. Oh, look at that. They whispered to her, you cannot withstand the storm. She whispered back, I am the storm. Magic time. Ooh. So there you go. So somebody here that betrayed you, they thought you couldn't withstand some kind of setback here. So if you did a bad business move and they thought that you were in the shit or something like that, no, you're not. You are the storm and it's magic time. You whispered back, I am the storm. You're highly intuitive. So somebody underestimated you here. Let's see here. And she lived happily ever after. <laughs> Stop waiting. I feel like that's a message for the person that betrayed you. They need to stop waiting for you to come back. Because you live happily ever after. That's what you're doing. You are the storm. Somebody's still getting high watching you. They need to wipe their ass apparently. <laughs> because they're full of shit. Okay? <laughs> Oh, Lord, I love these cards. Yeah, stay wild, flower child, new generation. It's a new generation. My party people. <laughs> okay, let's see what else is happening here. We'll get more of that towards the end. Yeah, listen, learn. Too much of a good thing blew up in someone's face. So... Somebody's underestimating you, whether you're a male or female here. Let's see what's going on here. I'm also getting with that parrot, this person talks too much shit. <laughs> and that's why things are not going good for them. Okay. With bad business move here. Let's do two more shuffle spirit. Two more. What is going on here? And they might have been ignoring the signs and you released their ass. Okay. You know. Could be headstrong or just you know. Dumb as a rock, I don't know. But let's do one more little de dents in the head I don't know somebody here is kind of stuck in a um, it could be a toxic energy is what I see while somebody else here is li living their best life about to live happily ever after there's a meme that says something like um, she said fuck this shit and lived happily ever after <laughs> so and somebody's still watching Sitting in the same place. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Undeniably attracted. Mm -hmm. So this person talks a lot of shit, but they're undeniably attracted to you. Yeah. Somebody you broke up with. Or they're going through a breakup and now looking for you. Okay, or have been. 
we have a karmic energy here and that was the competition <laughs> okay yeah you know there was a another situation here and they thought you couldn't weather this storm maybe somebody chose someone else but you whispered back I am the storm so you went off into the sunset riding off into the sunset to heal yourself and now you're in a much much better place after some type of betrayal here or you're headed that way we have vivid imagination with thinking of you okay high level soulmate here so this high level soulmate could have been dealing with someone like this okay I wonder if this is somebody coming into your life but there's a karmic situation but there is a breakup here yeah somebody I told you somebody in their shadow here looking at you watching you somebody you broke up with yeah there's a karmic situation with a karmic so there you go enjoy this moment and unwind that's what you're doing and she lived happily ever after oops wrong one here but I'll go ahead and um, put it over here okay I'm feeling passionate about you yeah so somebody that betrayed you has a very vivid imagination right thinking of you in very you know sexual ways lustful ways but there's somebody that betrayed you here and then we have enjoy this moment and unwind so that's this high level soulmate that's undeniably attracted to you but something happened here with somebody maybe they made a bad business move um, with a karmic here but I feel like uh, this person is breaking free from that whoever that is be grateful for the blessings to come so it's like once you broke up from this person you're gonna have blessings come into your life they can't stop watching though <laughs> yeah not worth your time so some of you were in a karmic situation there was competition or somebody put you in a third party situation and you moved on you weathered the storm it might have been rough for a while rough seas but you still made it through to calmer waters yeah we have kindred spirit connection this could have been like um, there could have been a karmic soulmate here for some of you or this is something coming in but what I see here it wasn't worth your time so let's see this is a little bit um, yeah somebody's stuck here they made a bad business move honestly for some of you what I'm seeing is you leveled up where you're a high level soulmate to whoever this karmic situation was now for some of you there's a high level soulmate that's coming into your life but they're dealing with a karmic situation and they're weathering the storm but that person keeps looking at them they're toxic and you know they were stuck there for a while yeah we have friendship here be grateful for the blessings to come so this could start off as a as a friendship we have flirtatious yeah definitely somebody was flirtatious and not worth your time somebody had a wandering eye and they were you know looking everywhere else but where they needed to yeah ego driven so you definitely dealt with somebody you felt a kindred spirit connection this could have been a past life connection but it was more like of a lesson here okay or this high level soulmate dealt with someone like this and this person still watching whoever this high level soulmate is Let's see. yeah there's mental manipulation here that kept somebody stuck here in a situation we have proving their love with action whoever's coming into your life here um, but it's gonna start off as a friendship because somebody somebody could have been in their shadow 
and they went through a breakup and they've been watching you okay they could be looking for you this person smokes is what I'm seeing here they smoke weed genuine and one of a kind see you were genuine and one of a kind you could be flirtatious as well um, but I'm seeing like somebody could be getting away from someone to come to you and flirt with you and they see you as genuine and one of a kind here hello from the other side that spirit okay yeah so spirit is um, guiding you is what I'm seeing here and giving you the tea about this person so I feel like when this card comes up they're just warning you that someone's in their head about you know you in a very lustful manner and remember that they betrayed you okay there's mental manipulation here but there's a lot of attraction here there's a, a few storylines I'm getting here. Um, let's look at the bottom here. Yeah, you awaken to the bullshit. That's what I'm seeing. Leveling up. Yeah, exactly. Look at that. Hitting on your friends. And you're actually a divine feminine. And somebody here wants to know if you're interested. <laughs> but it's a stingy selfish lover like what the hell yeah there's no love or desire greater than what I feel for you I feel like this, this give me a player vibe here okay I'm getting two situations for the divine feminine you met someone here that put you in a third party or several situations that um, it was like they were toying with your emotions basically and they were looking at everybody, Tam, Tammy, Dixie, and Harriet, or Tom, Dick, and Harry, and were giving you the time of day like you deserved. And you moved on. You said, I am the storm. You leveled up in your life, or you're leveling up. And it's like no one else compares because they keep desiring you. And I have a feeling it's because there was a soul tie there. Okay, there's something about a foreign land here, and ambitious and creative. You could be foreign, doesn't have to be, but there's, there could have been a trip here. And we have stalling with moving. So some of you could be thinking about moving, but something is keeping you stuck. We have going downhill. Your haters are missing you. Yeah, I feel like your haters are going downhill. It's almost like you left a group or some people just in time. They were trying to stall you. And you had to close out some type of cycle and move forward here. That's what I'm seeing. Now, I want to know. I'm hearing that song. I want to know your name. Come and talk to me. I really want to meet you, can I talk to you, oh yeah, I really want to love you, oh, 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 oh. Alright, let's see what else here. Yeah, we have coming soon. Mental manipulation. I feel like, yeah, I feel like you are this person's high level soulmate, is what I'm getting. So you leveled up, they did not. Because I feel like somebody wants to come in to manipulate you mentally. Okay, coming soon with mental manipulation. And then we have to keep you stuck. Wanting to maybe enjoy a moment with you and unwind. Because they're undeniably attracted. And they're making bad moves. So if you're leveling up, this person could be looking at you in a way where it's um, financially feasible for them, you know, it, well, they think it's feasible anyways to, to bring you back into their life. I feel like this person's looking at your finances, like, what are you doing? And they're making bad business moves. 
Okay. Others of you, there could be a high level soulmate coming towards you, but they were stuck because somebody here was mentally manipulating this person. Um, they could have had, you know, a business together or something like that. It was a bad business. Yeah, we have pe feeling lost with proving their love with action here. Yeah, you're genuine, one of a kind, and you're loyal. You're loyal to the person that you get yourself involved with. Okay. And I want to run to you with spirit. There's definitely somebody on the other side, though, watching you. The spirit is here. And they're making sure you live happily ever after. So if you are still waiting for this person, don't do not do it. This person uh, is not in a good energy. They're still in their shadow. Yeah, surprise encounter. So spirit is warning you is what I feel here. So for those of you who, you're the high level soulmate now, you're the divine feminine, but you would be a high level soulmate to this person. Um, they want to keep you stuck. They want to mentally manipulate you because you're doing good for yourself and they're not. They're stuck. Yep, I knew it. They're, they're casting spells on you too. That's why Return to Sender is here. You're highly intuitive, so you already know. So things are backfiring. Yeah, you're courageous that you plowed through this, even though through this soul time. And I guess they were confused about you moving forward. They probably didn't think you would move forward. And it says, get ready for a I am. This could be your energy now. You're in that I am energy. Um, but this is a test. So this surprise encounter is a test. Okay, to see if you're really ready to live happily ever after away from this connection. I feel like, you know, if you're saying you're the storm, you're weathered the storm already. You're already leveled up. But some of you are in the process of doing that. Yeah, you could have been falling in love and, you know, whenever this happened... Maybe you were dating, and it was like a makeup to breakup situation, and you were interested, but I feel like you're keeping your options open. Yeah, there was a lot of chemistry there. Okay. Okay. Let's see what else is coming up here. 2329. Tell me about this high level soulmate. Yeah, don't tell me what to do. Not too late. Don't tell me what to do. Not too late. <laughs> I'm blunt because God rolled me that way, baby. Stop now. <laughs> so if this person tried to keep you stuck, try to tell you how to act or be, you were like, don't tell me what to do. It's never too late. Okay, so maybe somebody was in your head saying that you're making a bad business choice, a bad business move, and you were just, you, you, gave, you gave them to them straight. Okay. Um... Or for those of you where this is a high level soulmate coming into your life, um, same thing. Like somebody here was trying to manipulate this person. And there was a betrayal here. And uh, this person keeps watching this person. And be grateful for the blessings to come. I feel this person is coming in, but it's going to be friendship first. They're going to prove their love with actions. They might be feeling a little lost right now. Okay. But they want to run to you. They're loyal. Spirit's bringing this person in. So they could be the ones being tested. Alright. 
So it could be, and he lived happily ever after as well. What else here, Spirit? So this person could have, you know, smoked weed. They were in their shadow as well. And they're learning a major lesson here. Yeah, dead inside, but caffeinated. Monday. Ugh. <laughs> Monday. Dead inside. I feel like that's the person you either dealt with or this high-level soulmate. So take that how it resonates, okay? True beauty comes from within. Evening. So yeah, somebody's dead inside. And they could they could have dealt with it. Yeah, we have undeniably attracted. But de dead inside. So somebody could have been dealing with someone that was attractive. With beauty here. But they were dead inside. And you have inner beauty. True beauty comes from within. Also getting Monday evening. Something about Monday evening. Anything else, Spirit? So somebody here is cranky. It's like, don't talk to me on this. I'm getting my coffee. <laughs> Wait till I drink my coffee. Too many cards, there's too many. <laughs> Your button comes. Yeah, I look at that. Oh yep. And they lived happily ever after next year. Okay, so definitely for some of you, there is a, a high level soulmate coming into your life, but they were dealing with some shit. And possibly what I'm also seeing is that you went through a lot of things with someone in the past that you could have had a soul tie with and they're still watching you and you're going to be tested as well. Somebody that betrayed you. But this high level soulmate was going through some themselves with someone that was mentally manipulating them and keeping them stuck. And I feel like right now they're reflecting and enjoying this moment because there was a breakup here. So they could be healing, but next year, and they lived happily ever after. I feel they're very attracted to you. They're just going through some things. It says... <laughs> I sew so I don't choke people. Save a life, send fabric. <laughs> November. Could be a Scorpio. <laughs> Um, or there's something significant where this other person is coming in in November and you're like, please, Lord, let me just sew some shit so I don't have to choke a bitch <laughs> or a dude, you know, that's funny. <laughs> I sew so I don't choke people, save a life, send fabric. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love these cards. Yeah, she remembered who she was, and the game changed. Eternity. Oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. You're on fire. Okay. <laughs> I love it. So, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. So, you, you both went through some shit, you and your high-level soulmate. So, you're a divine feminine meeting a high-level soulmate. That could be due to something, whatever's going on with your twin. Maybe you're not meeting your twin this lifetime, or they're just, they're going to be stuck in a situation for a while, or you guys just decided you really want a high level soulmate and not your twin. So next year, you're going to be living happily ever after with your high level soulmate. And something's going to happen around November where you're going to be like, you're going to be losing your patience a little with this past person. They're coming in to test you. Surprise encounter. Meaning, there's no telling when, you know, obviously it says no November, but, you, you know, I don't know. You could just be a Scorpio for some of you. Or November is significant. Maybe there's some sort of event, and then all of a sudden, boom, there they are. 
I don't know, guys. So, you gotta see how it plays out. Remember, nothing's set in stone. Energy shifts and changes all the time. But that's what I got right now. So, wow. Yeah, this high level soulmate does not like to be bossed around. And I feel like that's who they were with mental manipulation. But there's a breakup here. So they're watching you. Okay. So they could like to drink coffee and smoke weed. Okay. And watch you. <laughs> it, it's weird because we have a, you know, one that lifts you up. But maybe at night they like to smoke some weed. That's for some of you. I'm sure they're not all smoking weed. But this could be this person. Alright guys, let me know in the comments if anybody resonates, and I'll talk to you guys later. I just wanted to pop in real quick, so um, I wish you guys the best. Bye-bye.